says Sativa died November 27th, beaten to a bloody pulp by her boyfriend. And it's 1,787 femicide this year in the US. It is graphic, but it was the exact words that her mother used to describe what happened. So I thought it was important to include them um, rather than trying to make it, you know, um, profitable for other people to listen to. Location's a good location. If there's a lot of people who are going to see it, that's like the main thing. This one is a memorial for a femicide. We keep track of how many femicides happen um, so people understand that it's not isolated incidents, but it's just a, a societal issue that no one is dealing with. Everyone has accepted that women die at the hands of their partner and they've just accepted that. It's a fact to them. It's you know, it's even romanticized. It's, a, it's someone who loved someone too much. There's the word love that's used all the time, again and again. And we need to like, make people unlearn that. doing this memorial for all the victims of femicides who died this year. Someone stopped and, uh, and asked us to add the name of their sister and that was a very emotional moment. We know that on average between 2,000 and 3,000 women are murdered every year because of their gender and we only had 16% of their names that we knew. The rest of them we we had to write anonymous. It means a lot of different things if people don't know it's happening. It means that um, we don't collect data, statistics about these types of crimes. Uh, we don't get funding to fight these crimes. And people don't, don't know the words, so they don't recognize these murders as being femicides. So what happens is that they're being labeled as something else and so it keeps the number of cases low. And then just reinforces this idea that femicide is a crime that doesn't happen very often. In France when the movement started, people didn't know about the word femicide and the media were not describing murder of women that were, you know, motivated by their gender as femicides and we didn't really have a discussion about that. They really raised awareness about femicides and the extent of the problem. Everyone has these things at home, so you just need a regular office paper or printer paper. Um, acrylic, that's really important because it's water resistant, so it's gonna, you know, not destroy your message if it rains. And then a brush and tape. And then what we do once it's dry, we just tape together the pages in the middle, and then you just um, roll them up. You watch people you care about get hurt by this like systemic issue that no one really knows the solution to. It really becomes like infuriating and like there's really nowhere for that anger and the hurt to go and so this is sort of a productive way to sort of channel it and express that. Siento que es necesario visibilizar. Siento que colocar estos temas de los que hablamos del collage, ponerlos en la calle hace que la gente pueda verlo de otra manera, conectar de otra manera. Lo que hace el arte es conectar con la gente. We 
want laws to address the specific ways that women are being murdered at home by men who share their lives and that they know. We really need tailored strategies and, and laws and consequences to address that problem. And I think all of that starts with raising awareness about femicide because if you can't name a problem, you can't address it. <laughs>